Good day! With this video lesson, we're going to solve random math problem. From the topic, point of inflection under your differential calculus. So our problem, find the point of inflection of the curve y is equal to 9x squared minus x cubed plus 6 all over 6. So in this problem, there's a given equation of a curve and we're asked to find the point of inflection of the given curve. First thing to do is to copy the given equation of a curve. So we copy, so that will be y is equal to 9x squared minus x cubed plus 6 all over 6. Before Taking the first derivative of this y, as you can see, there is a 6 in your denominator. So we can uh, separate this denominator to your numerator by simply factoring it out no, from your numerator. So your y now is equal to 1 over 6 multiplied by 9x squared minus x cubed plus 6. Now, in taking your f the first derivative of this y, so we need to take the derivative of this portion. Then we multiply to your 1 over 6. So your y prime now is equal to 1 over 6 multiplied by the derivative of your 9x squared. So what will be the derivative of your 9x squared? So we multiply your exponent to your numerical coefficient 9 so that will be 18 we copy your variable then we subtract 1 to your exponent that will be 2 minus 1 so therefore it is 1 so we don't need to put your exponent there as 1 so minus we multiply this exponent to your numerical coefficient here that will be equal to 1 so 1 multiplied by 3 so that will be 3 we copy your variable x, then we subtract 1 to your exponent 3, so that will be 3 minus 1, or simply 2. Now, what will be the derivative of a constant? So, a derivative of a constant is always equal to 0, so we don't need to put plus 0 here. So, from our first derivative... That will be your y prime. Let's move on to your second derivative. So your y double prime now is equal to 1 over 6. Same process. So we need to take the derivative of this one. So those terms that there is an involvement of your x variable. So there is an exponent here, 1. Then we multiply to your given a numerical coefficient for your x variable here. So that will be 18 then we subtract 1 to your exponent, so that will be x raised to 0, so that will be equal to 1, so we don't need to put 1 here. So minus, so your 2 here as your exponent will be multiplied to your 3, so that will be 6. Then we subtract 1 to your exponent, then that will be equal to x raised to 1. Now, for us to simplify this one, we need to distribute this 1 over 6 to your 16 and negative 6x. So, for us to simplify, so your y double prime now is equal to 18 multiplied by 1 over 6 or simply your 18 divided by 6. So, that will be equal to 3 minus negative 6x multiplied by 1 over 6 or simply your negative 6x over your 6 will be equal to negative x. So this will be now your second derivative. Now we always assume that your second derivative will be equal to your 0. So since we assume that your y double prime or your second derivative of the given equation of a curve is equal to 3x mi uh, 3 minus x, this 3 minus x is equal to 0 because y double prime is equal to 0. 
So when your y double prime or your second derivative is equal to zero, so we can rewrite this one as three minus x is equal to zero. So from this given equation or resulting equation, you can transfer this negative uh, x to another side of your equation. So from negative to a positive sign, so your 3 now is equal to x. So there is a given or computed value for your x variable. Now, let's go back with the original equation for us to substitute uh, the computed value for your x and to find the value of your y. Now, you're from your original equation, so your y now is equal to 9 multiplied by 3 square minus your 3 cubed plus 6 is equal to I all over, I mean all, all over 6. Now, your y is equal to 9 multiplied by your 3 multiplied by 3. That will be 9 multiplied by 9. So, that will be equal to 81 minus. So, minus 3 times 3. That will be 9 times 3, 27. Plus... 6 all over 6. Here, y now is equal to, let's simplify, so 81 minus 27 plus 6. So that will be equal to, so that will be equal to, what will be the resulting value? So let's compute. So your 81 minus 27 now is equal to, in what value? Now, let's continue. Your 81 minus 27 plus 6. So, your 81 minus 27 is equal to 54. So, plus 6, that will be 60. So, 60 over 6 is equal to 10. Now, let's check if this 3 and 10, both positive values, is the point of inflection of this uh, given equation of a curve. So your x now is a positive 3 and your y is positive. So in checking if this 3 and positive 10 is the point of inflection of the given curve. Now in checking if this is your point of your inflection, we need to look for a value or a number before and after your 3. So that will be your 2 and 4. Because in between your 2 and 4, your 3 will fall. That's why if we assume that your x is equal to 2, what will be the value of your second derivative? So, from your second derivative, y double prime is equal to uh, 3 minus x. So, if x is 2 from this concept, so your y double prime now is equal to 3 minus 2, or simply your y now is equal to positive 1. Now, if x is 4, what will be the value of your second derivative? So your y double prime now is equal to 3 minus 4. Or simply your y double prime is equal to negative 1. So if this is the case, as you can see, from a positive 2 to a positive 4, where your 3 will fall in between of these two numbers, then it provides you a positive 1 and negative 1. So therefore, this 3 and 10 here will be your point of inflection. Therefore, it changes from because your 2 and 4 changes the value from positive 1 to negative 1. So the point of inflection is 3 and 10. So if that is the case, no. so you need to look first for 
the number before your given x coordinate here of your given point. So that will be 2 and 4 in this case. So if this 2 can provide you a value of your second derivative, a positive uh, value, then it will shift to a negative value with the same absolute value here that will be equal to 1. Then the given or the computed value of your uh, coordinates of your uh, uh, point, no? So that will be your x and y, that will be your 3 and 10 in this case. So therefore, if it will happen no, from positive 1 to a negative 1, then we accept that this 3 and 10 is the point of, point of inflection. Thanks for watching. If you want to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please do so.